Hello everybody, welcome back. Those observant of you might notice we're not at the computer today because we're doing something a little different. We're starting on the cockpit. So, I've been dying to make an F-18, Boeing 737, any of the things we fly. I've been wanting to make a cockpit for a long time now. So we're gonna do it. So I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of some of the materials, some of the things that I've been working on, and we'll see where this gets. But this is just kinda, kinda be an intro if you wanna get to a little bit more of the heart of the matter, skip to the next video, or just watch this one and see where it's gonna go. See where what I've got planned, and yeah. So, onto electronics. Okay, everybody, so, we have kind of a little smorgasbord of electronics here. The primary controller is going to be one of these Arduino Megas. It's a 2560, it is. So that's going to run a lot of our hardware. We're going to have a whole bunch of inputs and outputs coming off of these pins. And we're going to be splitting those off into breakout boards, which are going to be really complicated at the end. Um, we've got some gigantic buttons. Probably can't see that. Gigantic buttons, some little buttons. This is kind of a prototype panel that I made. Uh, this is for the OBGOS system, uh, the oxygen system. Just a little up down. There's going to be a knob here to turn. Um, this one, I believe, yeah, I don't remember what it's for. But that was one of our prototypes. This is one of our switches. It's a pull out, down, pull out, pull up. That is one of the several switch types. These are a good chunk of them. That's just straight up and down. This is the pull out, up and down switch. And this is a monetary up, so you push it and you have to hold it. There's also a solid down. So those are three of our buttons. Then we have these, which are on off switches, just straight, actually it's a three position switch. There's a off in the middle. Here, I'll take one out for you guys. All right, there is this one is straight on and off. Nothing too extensive, complicated, etc. We do have some monetary, momentary. That I believe are these guys actually. Ugh. These guys have a down, they have a center, and they have an up. So we can use those. Well, you can imagine how we're using those. But that's a second type of switch. Then we have these little guys. These are five or six position. These are five pole. So, sorry, five position, two pole. Come on, you can open a baggie. So, we have these guys. And essentially, it's a whole bunch of stabity pins. And when you twist it, So it essentially has five positions that you can rock through hard actual, okay, position, position, position. So this lets you do the actual solid position. So these are for things like the ILS, um, for the ground, INS knob, stuff like that. These are going to be used for those. This one is a five position. I've got a six position coming. We're going to need three positions. We're going to need a whole smorgasbord of these guys, but I'm going to have to pick those up as we get to them. These are super neat. These are potentiometers, so essentially they change the resistance. These are going to be used for things like turning the brightness up, turning the brightness down, volume controllers, those kinds of things. Oh, pulled out the divider. All right, so that is kind of a basic look at some of the electronics we're gonna be using. There's gonna be a lot of buttons, a lot of breakouts. These boards are gonna get very well used. There's gonna be hundreds and hundreds of inputs and outputs going in and out of that little tiny board. But we're gonna make the panels out of wood and then 3D print these guys. So these are going to go straight on top, and then we're going to put stickers on those. They're going to be painted, sanded, the works. So they've got that nice, pretty, matte back black finish. 
But yeah, that's these guys. We're going to go head over to some of the software and I'm just gonna give you a quick peek of what that's gonna look like. All right, so this is where a good chunk of the work's getting done. There's CAD modeling, diagrams everywhere. Uh, there's some electrical up here. We're gonna use Eagle uh, for actual PCB designs. All my breakout boards, all those guys, those are all gonna be done in Autodesk Eagle. Uh, we're using Fusion 360 for actually CADing and modeling everything. A lot of the parts are gonna be 3D printed from this using Cura. Uh, we'll go over to the printer in just a few minutes. Um, but yeah, here's kind of a standard day's worth of work in actually modeling all these things. So you'll have to stick around. I might have some tutorials and actually go through what I'm designing, how I'm doing it, where I'm getting some of the information. Um, if you're looking for the blueprints and other stuff, I'll probably have them up somewhere. Let me know if you guys are interested in those and I'll find some way to get them all to you. Uh, all these diagrams, all these pictures. Uh, we actually have the F-18 manual on how the actual released military manual, essentially. And it has some very detailed vector images in the PDF and that's giving me huge amounts of data. That way I can CAD things to accurate specifications. I'm having to do a couple of tweaks because DCS has a bit more of a modern version than the original plans have. Um, they've got a couple more panels. They've got a couple more additions that were added later after these docs, because these are probably pretty old documents. But these specify the F-18C, so we are going to use them. It's gonna get us pretty close. And we're gonna have to enjoy this. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, so we're going to switch from software. Now we're going to go look at some of the hardware, some of the components I have to build this thing, what I'm starting with, and where we're going to go from there. So over to hardware. All right, so this is where most of the components are going to live. We're going to build a cockpit that I can slide around down here. Um, this was not where I've normally been flying from. So this was an experiment to see if my Steam Link can actually connect upstairs so I can fly from down here remotely. My computer is upstairs in my bedroom. This is, well, there's a giant TV here and there's enough space that I don't have to take up a gigantic chunk of my bedroom. So the cockpit's gonna go here on the floor. I don't know if you guys can see, but I've already got USB cables going everywhere. So it's going to have some kind of power extension cord, some kind of plug. Uh, it's gonna have a huge amount of USB cables Gonna need a keyboard somewhere. We might not use it, we might use it. It all depends on how things turn out. This is actually a racing seat out of a race car that I found. This is going to become my cockpit seat. So it's gonna be there and we are going to find some way of raising and lowering it. So that's probably gonna be two by fours. We'll go into the blueprints later. That's gonna be uh, probably two episodes from now, we'll get into actually building and constructing the seat. That's going to be one of the first things we actually put together. Um, I've got the actual blueprints upstairs for how this is going to be built. So this is going to be a fun project. Having a seat, then customizing everything else just to sit around it. That way we can start getting familiar, start getting pieces up so that we can start actually playing on the screen in some kind of reasonable configuration that's where things are gonna start. So we've got our Thrustmaster HOTAS. We've got a set of pedals. I've got a replacement set coming in. Uh, if you guys follow it, the Thrustmaster TPR pedals just released. Those are the ones we're gonna be using. They have a much more accurate, uh, actuated look and feel essentially. I think it'll do much better for the simulation. Um, these are some really old pedals that I've actually got that I'm actually borrowing from a friend. So it was time to get my own set. They're gonna be a lot better and they should go phenomenally with this cockpit. So that's kind of my, here's the big parts. Looking forward to making the seat. Hope you guys are too. Now, we're gonna head out to the garage and I'm actually gonna show you guys some of the other materials that we have to make the seat happen. Actually, we've got two more locations to go to. One's the wood shop, one's the garage two different places, two similar purposes. And they're probably all gonna end up in the wood shop eventually. 
but we're going to need to do a lot of work on the seat. That's going to be a lot of the wood shop components. We're going to be building a wood frame out of it. Stay tuned for that video. That's going to be a lot of fun. Then we're going to be doing MDF panels. That way we have all of those and then we're going to 3D print the parts to go on top of it. So over to the garage, then over to the messy wood shop. Here we go. All right, welcome to the section of the garage we're going to be using. These are some MDF panels. I can see the cutouts coming in. There's going to be a nice rounded cut right there for the front panel. There's going to be some nice cuts up here for the side panels. Actually, that might be on the second piece behind it that go lengthwise. But we're going to have two panels on the side, one on the front. We're going to enclose the entire thing. I'm going to need a lot more wood than this, a lot more panels than that. But that's the beginning. We also have some nice chunks of steel in case we actually want to do some real fabrication. Maybe get some actual seat actuation up and down the rail. We'll see how it goes. We're going to see where this goes. I'm excited about it. And then we've got some metal rods. These are here for another project, but if we need to, we could use these for things like the gear handle. It's a long handle. That would be a serious throw. But we can use these for things like gear handles and pretty much anything round. Ejection levers, jettison levers, the works. Ooh, the ejection, le I haven't even thought about the ejection seat. How I'm gonna actually pull the handle what handle I'm going to make, how I'm going to register it. Stuff to think about in the future and design. That's where all the CAD, the electronics, and everything else are going to come in. So this is kind of a garage setup. You guys are going to see a lot more of this. A lot of work done on these guys. So over to the wood shop where we're going to do some more work. Eh, more showing. Work later. Here we go. All right, as you can see, I've got a couple of simultaneous projects going on all over the shop. But this is where it's going to happen. This is where we're going to be making a lot of the pieces. Probably the panels. Um, we're going to build the runners for the seat out of probably 2x4s, potentially 2x6s, depending on what wood we have on hand. I want to go get more, what we're going to do with it. Um, the frame is probably going to be done out of MDF or 2x4s. Like I said, depending on what we have on hand. But all this space. We have some MDF over there, like some full melamine MDF. We have some of that thin MDF in the other room. We've got some long slices of MDF here, some plywood. There's a whole smorgasbord of stuff around here that we can use, mostly left over from other projects. I like those boards. We might use those boards. So you guys will have to stick around and see what happens, what we use. How it goes, stick around for some of the video, for some of the build videos. I can speak, I swear. But I think that's going to wrap it up. So back inside. All right, so this is going to be the final component. Ooh, a little echoey. Sorry about that, guys. But we are going to be using the 3D printer to finish up all the parts, make nice raised surfaces. And essentially all the intricate detail that's normally done in metal by pressing machines and a lot of skilled handwork is going to be done on 3D printer. So all I have to do is CAD it, which I would do anyway even if we're making it out of metal. Then I can print them. And later on down the road, if I want to make it out of metal, I have all the CAD drawings. I've got blueprints. I've got measurements. I've got physical pieces that I have 3D printed out of plastic that I can use for actually doing some metal work. So this thing is going to be invaluable. It's going to be super useful. We're going to prototype a lot of things. Currently, it's in pieces. You guys will have to stick around for the next video to see why. Something, well, catastrophically went wrong. Anyways, you guys will have to come back for the next video and see what that was. All right, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. We've got electronics, all the computer work. We've got some 3D printing woodworking, metalworking, it's going to be a full build. This is going to take a long time and be a lot of work. So if you guys are excited about it as I am, which I'm really excited about this, it's going to be awesome. I've been dreaming of having a pit for a long time. I've seen so many, they look beautiful, even just the individual components. But if you guys are excited as I am, definitely hit that like button and the subscribe and turn that bell on so that you get notifications when we get the new videos out. 
but we will see you guys in the next episode and hopefully we get some stuff built. Well, that'll do it. So see you in the next episode.